Virgo, good morning. I hope that you're doing amazing. Happy Friday, happy weekend. We made it. Yes, we made it. We made it. It is Friday morning around 6.15 or so. Let's see what you need to know at this time. Messages for Virgo. Tell me about Virgo, please. What does Virgo need to be aware of? Spirit, please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Virgo needs to know at this time, please. And thank you. Let's see. Pain in the reverse. Okay. Magic. Mm. Some of you are getting over something, some sort of heartbreak, betrayal possibly. Something that's been quite difficult here and you're finding yourself, you're finding your power, you're standing in your power, you're beginning to do so. Please switch it if you need to as well. Passion, yeah, you're finding your spark, Virgo. You're getting your spark back. You're getting back to being you again. Possibly a more improved version of you, of you for magic and passion to be there. You're reforming yourself after a heartbreak. One more. Death, yeah, that's a big transformation. Some of you have dealt with a Scorpio. You've got, you've got strong Scorpio in your chart. Sorry, my nose is itchy. Allergy. Surrender. You're letting something go. Letting something go. There's a transformation here, Virgo. You're changing, okay? A lot of you are reforming. There's some sort of change that's going on in your energy that is transformative, okay? You're finding yourself, okay? A lot of you could be feeling um, more driven to do things right now, especially as you're making room for it. You're making room for new. You're making room for transformation. With pain in the reverse, it frees up a lot of space, okay? Frees up a lot of space. Let's take a look. I like this. Some of you have literally gone through a transformation. Tell me about Virgo. telling you and rebirth death and rebirth first card out six of cups you are definitely saying a big goodbye to the past okay something is over some of you are only dwelling on the positive memories, on the good memories, as opposed to looking at what went wrong, okay? And that could be the reason as to why you're being able to kind of replace pain with passion, if you like. Four of Swords in the reverse and the Page of Cups. Somebody could be thinking of you right now. This person may want to reach out to you. Um, tell me about death and rebirth. Ten of Wands in the reverse. Something's being released from your energy and it feels it feels good. You feel lighter or you will. King of Pentacles. The Devil. The Ace of Cups. Some of you have some sort of new love offer coming in as well. I see that with the Page of Wands. I feel like you've got a couple of people here who want to speak to you. Two of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, yeah. And we've also got the King of Pentacles that has come out. A lot of you could be dealing with a um, Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. And look at this. We've got the Ten of Swords, which is that pain. And we've got the sun. It's like you're transmuting pain into happiness, okay? You could have been very stuck for a while. Some of you could have been in a very defensive energy, maybe not wanting to see something. 
but there's something about you being very logical about a situation coming up here with the four of wands it's creating a lot of balance stability for you um for some of you you're giving up the energy of feeling rejected feeling like something didn't go wrong feeling the kind of the effects of a disappointment here with the high priestess you could be trying to use your intuition regarding an aries this aries could be romantically interested in you a lot of you are um, exploring your options with the seven of cups yeah definitely you could be considering a new connection or you could have somebody pursuing you for a new connection reaching out to you some of you you've got an apology here as well you could have dealt with an earth sign in the past this doesn't have to be though or a capricorn or a scorpio there's transformation you are letting go of something with a ten of wands in the reverse it doesn't live here anymore you're unpacking something like that um the four of swords is in the reverse some of you are coming out of a period of being more reserved. One second, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, Virgo. I had to sort my nose out. I, I get allergies and right now they're troubling me. So my nose just gets just gets itchy and all sorts very quickly. Um, some of you could be in an energy of coming out, okay? You could be in an energy of... Um, Emerging from some sort of reserved energy, some of you have given yourself time to heal. Somebody could also be resurfacing. This could be a Capricorn. Who is this devil energy here? The star. Somebody who still desires you. Somebody who you've healed from. The knight of wands in the reverse. You had to heal from this. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely had to heal from this person. Could be a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. Somebody wants to drag you back with the Three of Wands. You're getting too far away from them, Virgo. Hang on, Virgo. I still want to bring toxicity towards you. I still want you to move around in this, this, this toxic cycle. I still want you to indulge in whatever this devil energy is with the Knight of Wands in the reverse. I still want you to put up with fickle energy unreliability tell me about the knight of wands in the reverse you've healed and this is what is kind of drawing this person back in towards you be very careful with this person the three of swords in the reverse what am i telling you the pain is in the reverse and the three of swords in the reverse this is somebody who you've got over very very inconsistent energy and now they're seeing you kind of working on yourself with the eight of pentacles they're watching you work tell me about the four of swords in the reverse yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. This definitely could be somebody who's watched you over a period of time um, with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this person's getting ready to reach out to you, talk to you, communication. But this person was not in the best energy in the past. They didn't, they didn't treat you well. Tell me about the Knight of Wands in the reverse. One more for this person. Have they changed? Have they changed it up? The Five of Wands, absolutely not. The Five of Wands is, is BS. With the Knight of Wands in the reverse. This is somebody who possibly still indulges in multiple people. They have a lot of conflict, a lot of drama surrounding them. Possibly drama even follows them with the Ten of Swords. No, it's it's the same, the same um burdens that existed when you dealt with this person, is the same burdens that are going to exist if you revisit this person. And they haven't changed. There's still drama with the five of wands. And the Seven of Swords as I split the deck. Absolutely not. Okay. Tell me about this um, Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups. The Hanged Man. Could be a Pisces here. Page of Swords. Someone's watching you. Someone's watching you. But they're unsure if you're, you'll be interested to talk to them with the Empress. This could be somebody who feels like you're very um, much about yourself. It's all about you right now. Um, this definitely could be somebody who's watching you grow, who's watching you um, flourish in some way with the chariot card and the queen of wands. Oh, yeah. This person's watching you go from strength to strength, find your confidence, step into your power. There's an energy of that here, definitely. With the page of swords, this person keeps a very close eye on you. I feel like you've got a couple of people, to be honest, keeping an eye on you. Who is this king of pentacles person? The Eight of Wands, communication. There's People want to speak to you, Virgo, with the Two of Swords. 
you may be coming across a little bit closed off people could maybe not really know how to reach out to you with the um kind of connect with you if you like king of wands and the strength card some of you it's a leo that could want to reach out to you very attractive energy could definitely have a fire sign wanting to come in and speak to you with the two of pentacles this is somebody who views you working really really hard on something here yeah as i say that the eight of pentacles a lot of you're putting a lot of energy into your work king of swords this could have something to do with your mental health this could have something to do with how you show up with the king of swords this could have something to do with um something um mental you could be studying for example something that's going to expand your foresight or expand your skill base or expand your knowledge somehow some of you could be in school some of you could be doing something to do with it. some of you could even be studying for a degree maybe it's teaching something like that you could do something to do with communication very authoritative but also very knowledgeable with the page of pentacles there's an opportunity here. Somebody's definitely trying to get your attention here. I feel like you've got a couple of people. You've got this Knight of Wands down here, who you dealt with in the past, who is still drama. You've got another person here, the King of Pentacles. They're showing up more stable. This person definitely views you as somebody who's working on yourself, working on things that you've got going on. Could be watching you studying or watching you wise up somehow. This person views you as very intelligent. With the queen and yeah king and queen of swords there's something about your logic there's something about you learning something that's expanding your mind and somebody feels like they can compliment you very well with that they view you very equal with the hermit energy you could be very much a lone wolf this could be a person who spends a lot of time at home as well with the page of pentacles this person who wants to offer you something could be a virgo doesn't have to be though gemini libra aquarius leo energy Somebody wants to work with you. Somebody wants to bounce ideas off with you. This could definitely be even a person at your place of work, somewhere where you go. This could be a person at your school, wherever you study, something like that. This person watches you. This could be a person who's getting ready to reach out. Why is the two of swords here? The fool, yeah. The ace of pentacles, there's an offer here. So start something new with the nine of pentacles. This person's very, very stable. Tell me about Page of Swords. Queen of Cups. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. With the Lovers card. You have options. I feel like I'm seeing options here. I feel like you've got somebody in your past. I feel like you have somebody who you either work with or where you frequent, where you go regularly, possibly to study even, somewhere that you go, somewhere you visit, who is wanting to reach out to you. They very much admire you. They find you very, very intelligent. You could have even have had a conversation with this person about kind of working together in some capacity it doesn't have to be a romantic capacity but with the king of wands here this person is romantically interested in you they hold back though with the strength they're they're, they're composed but with the lover's energy there's romantic energy here there's also an energy of you being seen as somebody who is healing somebody who's definitely softer you know you're happier you could be in a more loving kind of energy these are people who possibly watched you go through a, a, a breakup or some sort of um, something that where you had to kind of give yourself time and heal. People are kind of viewing you as, as a person who is moving forward, making some big changes here. And pe some people don't know how to feel about that, though. I'll be honest with you. Tell me about that hanged man. The justice. The three of cuts. Yeah, seven of wands and the eight of one swords. Okay, if you are moving differently, if you are in an energy of being transformative, if you are kind of making some changes, if you've changed as a character, if people are viewing you as somebody who 
basically deserves this new beginning that you're stepping into okay you've got you've got supportive energy here which is really nice some of you you've got a libra a friend a libra and friend but there's an energy of understanding as to why you may be a bit standoffish or, or very protective if you like over something that you've got going on or moving forward or some sort of um fated change good changes that are happening right now this this is a, either a person or you've got a couple of people here tell me about the eight of swords yeah knight of swords this is a person who views you as somebody who was stuck at one point yeah with the hermit card and you've had to kind of withdraw to do a lot of growth on yourself work on yourself who is this for a cup person emperor and the knight of cups i feel like there's multiple multiple people who are watching you I feel like you've got friends. I feel like you've got um, romantic people, people interested in you. You could even have a boss watching you as well. Somebody at your place of work. Seven of Cups. You have a lot of people. You've got some people confused. You've got some people very, very embarrassed over how they possibly did you. You've got people possibly uh, regretful over maybe making you an option breaking your heart, hurting you. You've also got a lot of people admiring your stability. It's a mixed bag. It's a very mixed bag here. But the general message here is you are getting over something and it's making the space for all this new energy to come in with the Wheel of Fortune. For those of you who were feeling very stuck before, I see you finally being able to let that go. I see you finally kind of setting yourself free with the Knight of Swords. And it's like you're you're very protected, very protected. And I do feel like to some degree you're in a more reserved energy. And the reason why with the Two of Swords is because of what's happened in your past. It's like you're using your discernment more. You've wised up. You're more switched on. You're more you ask more questions now. You investigate a little bit more. And people are viewing you as somebody who is in your kind of soft girl era, soft, soft guy era type of energy like you know you're you're softening you're not so eh, even though you're protective if that makes sense like you there's a softness about you there's a care about you that's kind of emerging through kind of healing whatever this is and it's attracting a lot of energy towards you a lot of different people towards you wanting to be around you type of energy Sorry, Virgo. Virgos. I like this for you. I think I'm going to leave you there, Virgo. That's what I have for you. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Um, have a good day. It is very early. Enjoy the Friday. Enjoy the weekend. And I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.